Number three on our list as we return to our show topic of three things your financial plan could be missing, it is control of your required income. So let's start first, guys, talking about what is required income. So that's what your basic need in retirement. So what is it you need just to um, pay for your groceries and your gas and utilities, taxes, insurance, things that you know that you know that you know are coming every single month um, that you've got to pay for. Um, and you don't necessarily want to subject that income to market risk. And, and things like food, clothing, you know, transportation, you name it. Those essential expenses, Scott, are the things that you've got to think about first as you're planning for retirement. A lot of people, you know, approach retirement and it's almost like they get this twinkle in their eye because the piggy bank is about to be open. You know, right. they, they see sure. that opportunity that when they retire, they're going to go do this and this and this and this and this. And all of that is great. But I will tell you, there is no better comfort than knowing that all of your base level expenses are taken care of. Mm -hmm. And if those base level expenses are taken care of, then you can go and have some fun with the other money that you've got. But you've got to protect the home base first. And so that's why we really do focus first on talking to our clients about figuring out what their required income is. And I think it's funny, Candace, when we are doing an appointment uh, and we are talking to somebody about that that's thinking about retirement, you say, well, how much money do you need in retirement? And they will give you this really glazed over blank look. Yeah, it's the deer in headlights like, well, I don't know. What, what do you think? Yeah, I don't know. I yeah. Tell us what you spend on a regular right. basis. Yeah. And so, Scott, that, that really is one of the biggest difficulties that people have when they come in is trying to go, okay, well, what do I spend? Yeah. I think it's important, too, because I thought of a, a client that we just met with yesterday that would fall into part of this. Now, he already has the plan, so he was coming, us to, coming to us to ask the question. But you mentioned the piggy bank being open. Sometimes it's not even for a free-for-all spending spree that they're looking to go on. Sometimes it's looking they're looking to pay off debt right on right. day one of retirement, which is, a, oh, yeah. I think, a great concept. Right? Yes. You, 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 you need to be focused on getting rid of all those monthly payments, right? You want to get rid of it. But the, the way they want to do that is to potentially pull six figures or more out of mm -hmm. their retirement assets before the plan is in place. So I would, I would say if you're watching or listening to us today and you're closing in on retirement and you either have a financial plan that doesn't account for control of your required income or you don't have a financial plan at all, don't tap the piggy bank to pay off all your debt unless that financial plan is in place. And speaking to that, you know, when, when they think about, let's say, a mortgage, for example, is usually what we'll hear. I want to pay that off as soon as I retire. Um, but what they're not thinking about is that it, uh, a lot of times they'll have a 401k and all of that is pre-tax money. So they don't just have to take out what they owe. Yep. You've got to account for the taxes on that, too. So you're taking out a whole lot more out of your portfolio that could be income generation for you. Want more content like this delivered to your inbox weekly? Visit fastest4.com to learn more.